entire society culturally seen, the king is not just human. Uh, he is more than human. He is a demi demigod. On May 30th, a Thai judge will give his final verdict on the trial of media rights activist Sharanuj Pramchaiporn. She was arrested three years ago for allegedly having committed les majest, or insulting the monarchy. Usually when we think of our like a wanted or the arrest warrant, it should be something like a, the serious criminal or some the criminal. But once when I saw my name in that, I think, oh. If found guilty, Pramchai Porn could face up to 20 years in prison for not having removed reader comments quickly enough on the independent news website Prachatai. Even if you get acquitted, the result would be that more websites and more people will be in fear for posting anything critical of the monarchy institution. Between April and November 2008, 10 comments were posted on Prachatai's web forum that allegedly defamed the king and queen of Thailand. These comments are all very oblique and, and not a, they're questioning, yes. But critical? No. In court, a Thai judge said that one of the commentators referred to the king as the blind father. Yet, it remains unclear as to which content is considered les majest. The repetition of les majeste is itself uh, criminally les majeste. So, so in fact, um, if a person is charged with les majeste, even the judge, even the prosecutor, even the defense lawyer, the witnesses are not allowed to repeat it. Often it's written down on pieces of paper which are passed around by court officers. Prem Chai Porn is being charged under a 2007 law known as the Computer Crimes Act. It states that not only are commentators legally liable for committing les majeste, but so are intermediaries, such as internet space providers. This kind of law automatically makes those uh, media self-censor themselves. You know. But Nostit says that Prem Chai Porn's case is not just about media censorship. The larger picture of this conflict is about, um, it is about Thai-ness, Kwam Pen Thai, what it means to be Thai. And being Thai, according to Nostitz, means having an unquestioning devotion to the monarchy. It is for royalists unthinkable that a Thai could not love the king. For them this doesn't, they are not, you don't love the king, you are not Thai anymore. In 2005, things started to change. With a historic voter turnout, the controversial Thaksin Shinawatra was re-elected as prime minister. A year later, he was charged with les majest and removed from office. Soon after, the public started criticizing the monarchy. There's a belief amongst the pro taxin red shirt movement that the palace somehow, or at least the chief advisor of the palace, is involved in staging the coup which ousted taxin. Within this conflict, you have now an increasing amount of ties which do not accept the monarchy anymore. Back at the courtroom, the prosecutor on Prem Chai Porn's case says that Les Majest prosecutions are necessary. So he explained it in a way that, you know, if you are able to insult or defame the king, then, you know, you can make the country turn into a precedent system, and then that would cause a, you know, regime change, and that would create national insecurity. Meanwhile, Prem Chai Porn is trying to stay strong. I've been discouraged or disheartened for the thing that's happened to me and to my organization. But I think the more important thing that like uh, how do we deal with the thing that already been happened? Mm. Yeah. Yeah.